Hello everyone. So I've decided to do one final video on the topic evasion versus DR for Musa players. This question is asked very often towards me and I've managed to go through each type of content with both sets of gear now. Let's start with the evasion topic. If you've been tuning into my streams lately, you'll notice that I'm using the evasion builds for open world content. I finally have managed to stack up on some really good gear so I'm able to get away with using evasion as I can still reach decent AP brackets. A typical build that I use looks like this. Evasion Offhand plus Centaur Belt with Evasion Crystals and Light Stones. It allows me to reach around 1375 evasion. This build is extremely effective in the open world and that's for one reason. Accuracy. The majority of the population in BDO will not have an accuracy build ready to fight high evasion targets. Despite Musa not having any additional evasion passive like certain evasion classes, an evasion build can still be highly effective. Now, this topic does a full 180 degree turn once we get into endgame PvP. Open world roaming is very different to being put into situations where you're up against the best geared players. At true endgame gear, players will not care at all what evasion you're running on a Musa. The same rule of life will apply to you as it has for DR Musas. You're getting blasted and you're not surviving grabs. With the changes to the open world guild war system no longer existing, node war content is the main focus of the game nowadays. As a result, you may be wondering, what build should you run for that? Well, considering all node wars from tier 1 to tier 4 are capped AP DP wise, there is no problem in running either evasion or DR, as your gear will not really matter once you hit the caps. But, if your main focus is tier 5 content, which is max gear and fully uncapped, I've tried out an evasion build and the results were basically what I thought would happen. The survivability was increased considerably and my damage was reduced a lot. You're no longer a killing machine and sadly that isn't really the purpose of Musa. Whilst it is still very possible to get multi kills in evasion, even against the most geared players, you need to ask yourself what role are you willing to play. Musa's natural role is to have as much damage as possible and charge into the backline to kill the squishiest opponents like archers and rangers that are putting pressure on your main raid. The alternative role is the evasion distractor role. By using evasion you can be a very good distraction that makes your opponents focus on you and at times overcommit to chasing you down. This also helps put less pressure on your main raid because there are less enemies attacking them. Now on to talking about DR. Damage reduction is the build that the majority of Musas use. By going DR, you are committing to the full high mobility glass cannon life. Your objective is to not get hit and abuse your mobility as much as possible. You might as well not play with armors at all because any amount of damage will probably kill you anyways. If you're looking to achieve a lot of kills, DR is the way. For a very long time I was using DR for open world in 1v1s, but after gearing up I decided to do a switch mainly for my Red Karma gameplay. As a glass cannon, positioning is key to your success when it comes to large scale fights. You're not meant to be in the main blob, but rather on the outskirts. Focus on picking vulnerable targets and committing to players that are already CC'd on the ground. In other words, you're a kill stealer, and a very good one with practice. For 1v1 fights as a DR Musa, you're going to struggle against a lot of classes, mainly due to the lack of tankiness and many classes having ranged damage, debuffs, and grabs. Musa was never designed towards being a 1v1 menace, sadly. This is why in certain cases evasion Musa works out better in small scale fights, but in the end, if the player has the gear, they will kill you. I won't be going deep into hybrid builds for Musa, I feel like you either commit to full evasion or full damage and there isn't really a good middle ground for running a mix of both. Of course this is very dependent on who you are fighting, but I wouldn't suggest it personally. In conclusion, after doing my tests, I will continue to use full damage DR Musa for all group content as it provides the best results. For open world, I will use builds dependent on the situation. Evasion builds for targets that lack accuracy, DR for targets like Zerkers, Warriors, Valks because they are extremely tanky and without an AP build, they won't die. This is a summary of the topic for today. I hope you found this information useful and I'll see you in the next one.